Welcome to the James Rambles On and On Show, episode one. Okay, so I am James, obviously, and as I've gone, I love comic books, movies, TV shows. I mean, I've not actually been a giant. Right. And I want to say that Terminator 1 and 2, best freaking best amount of jokes. Can't wait for for the variant Sigma because we've got Beta, Alpha, so we could have Sigma. <laughs> uh, that sort of thing happened and the rain just became a thing where I didn't like it and I didn't want the rain to get on me basically. And the wind, I didn't want the wind to blow at me and I was like, oh, actually, I ended up crying at the rain and the right iPhone is just another phone, right? An iPhone, right? iPhones are really, really expensive. Like, I'm not even joking right now. Like, iPhones are so expensive. Like, in New Zealand, right, I'm pretty sure it costed about... One of the iPhones cost about $1,000, and that might... This might actually go beyond New Zealand, right? They cost probably a lot of money in other countries. But as for New Zealand, though... Like, I used to love eating poo. Pete... Try to help, help me, help me, just try and say this without laughing. Let's do a try not to laugh together, right? Let's try and do a try not to laugh together when I'm trying to say this, right? I used to love eating poo. I used to love eating poo. Did you laugh? comes to metal and everything, I cannot stand death metal. Death metal. Death metal. Death metal. <laughs> oh man. That's literally what it sounds like as well, man. Rain is literally majority of Scottish weather. There's also snow in the winter, of course. There's also hailstorms there's all of that but there's been a lot of rain when i was back in scotland you know oh there was a lot of rain and you know what well, it was it was really you know i just got used to that sort of thing so when i came to new zealand in 2017 and know it was sunny all- Hello everyone and welcome back to the James Rambling Show, coming at you live on Friday night. Tonight's your host, James Bay. Hello, welcome back to the James Rambling Show. Yet another week of this podcast. And as you already know, I have this James Rambling Show shut right here. And I also have this teacup, right? I'm drinking more ego, as you know, from that other video I did. Where I talked about, you know, what I got for Christmas and stuff like that. But today, I have a special episode because, ladies and gentlemen, we've approached 50 episodes of the James Rambling Show. And I thought what I would do here is basically talk about how the podcast has went over this year. And, you know, the thing is, right, you know, um... I've just, this is like the first kind of podcast I've ever done because I've made YouTube channels before where I talked about things but it was never in this nature of needing quality mics and doing a podcast and putting it on the other platforms. I have an outline of things I want to talk about today. I don't usually skip things but my outline was, you know, talking about confidence, the mic issues and upgrades we faced, the extended show and the review show, the guests we had on the show, the whole... The whole thing about the about the episode lengths and how they went from being so short to just a minimal twenty minutes, all that stuff, and you know putting the show on other platforms. So I'm at, and I did consider making this a live stream, but I don't know if any a lot of people are going to watch that. I did that because it's the fiftieth edition, right? So I wanted to make it a giant deal, and but it, but you know I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to make it a live stream, so there's that, right. So I'm going to start off, what I'm going to start off with is talking about my confidence. Because that's a good point I can bring up here. So here's the thing, when we started the James Ramblin show back in January of this year, I started it out of nowhere, and I just turned on the camera and just 
thought I was not knew where I was going, but I was just really uh, unconfident. I didn't know where I was going with it. So much so that I made a few episodes in a week, and I just didn't know where to take it. Then I figured out the schedule. That it was a very clunky start to making a podcast, and then you know I did make this video where I talked about the highlights of the three worst episodes, and I said, you know, there's there's the three episodes, right? That the filler, and then the rest of it isn't filler. But even past episode three of the James Ramblin show, I don't think it was that great. It took a while before it got going, I have to say, that definitely. It's not been the most perfect show ever on the planet, right? We've not I we've not actually done we've not gotten very popular either. Right, we've not gotten very popular. I've noticed we don't really rack in hundreds of thousands of views or anything like that. that that's not why I'm here, but but yeah, my confidence has definitely changed to the point where I'm able to sit in front of a camera and talk for a very long time without stalling and without stalling and without having to look at notes and all that stuff. So there's definitely that. So the mic, the mic issues and upgrades is that you know in the beginning of the James Ramblin show we had this we had earbuds which was weird, right? It was really weird because. You know, it, it would just sound really bad, and then you had the, the Xbox headsets, which the Xbox headsets weren't very good. Or the Xbox headsets, I should say. It was good, it was better than the last mic, but it just, you know, if you just shout into it, it would just would sound very unclear. So you definitely had that, and then I had the other mic, which I used in episode 9, I think. I used in episode 9, and it got a bit better. And just to touch on episode 9 right there, like that was an episode that I'm not proud of. I look back at it and cringe because it's a hot takes on food. That whole hot takes on food thing we did wasn't very good because, you know, it wasn't realistic. So I might do an episode later on where I talk about food properly because that stuff is just a satire and it didn't really work. So you definitely have all that, all of that stuff where, where I was not confident on the show. I had mic issues. Those are very, these are the two most like important points I just wanted to address here. My other notes, right, so I have the notes here, but this is just to give myself an idea of what to talk about. Because I don't want to just rush to the you know, rush here. And I, and also just want to point out that don't expect me to go over every single episode of the James Ramon show, but I just thought I would look look back at the memories and look back at how we did and all of that kind of thing. So there was the extended series and the Re- James Rambling reviews. So I'll touch on the James Rambling reviews after the extended uh, series. So the thing was with the extended series is that you know I try to make a different show where I would rage at the camera and rant and make it entertaining. But here's the thing, right? There's literally little to no co- there was literally little to no context. When I did that, I was just throwing, I was just saying things at the camera, shouting with that Xbox mic, all of that stuff, so it didn't really work out well enough, if you know what I mean, so I just didn't know what I was doing, I ended it, you know, it wasn't good, but then, but then, I did the review show, right, and I said on the show, I'm thinking about doing the review show and all of that stuff, I did all of that, right, but then... But then uh, about six or seven months later, I decided to do it. I talked about Lord of the Rings, right? And that video actually blew up. And then I had the Top Gun Maverick review. That blowed up. Then the Jurassic World Dominion review. As I kept doing these reviews, right, you'd see my views go up. But then there's, there are some reviews that I haven't really done well. And for the most part, right, that review show, I've, li- I've liked doing it. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a separation from going off on a bunch of tangents and go- going on you know, doing smooth transitions into a different topic, it's sticking to one topic only, and getting the point across kind of thing, and it's a different tone, and it's something for the second channel, and speaking of the second channel, right, the podcast was on it, on a different channel, I put it on a channel with barely any subscribers on it, then what I did was I turned it over onto the, the main channel, right, I put the podcast episodes onto the main channel, and I did all that stuff, so that was a that was a difficulty in the beginning. I put it on a, a channel that shouldn't have been, and on my the the main channel that that has all the more subscribers, I had the clips. But I realised I should have put the the clips on the second channel and all that. But the more it turned into the more of James Ramblin, where I would talk about, I would do the review show, and then I would do the clips for every week. Like every week, you see the clips for the highlights. 
you'd see that going around. So you have all of that, and I'm proud of the review show, I wasn't proud of the extended series, because it only ran for about two episodes. I'm just going to quickly drink more of my ego right here. So there's that, right. Guests. So there is guests, but I think what I should talk, I think what I should talk about now is the fact that I do not remember everything I've said on this show, right. I've said the most outrage, I've said the most weirdest things ever, right. I've said, you know, scared of the rain and all of that stuff and then I was talking about COVID and I have to say the COVID episode was very bad, like, I didn't really know what I was doing there, like, I knew I was unwell, but I could have took at least a week or two off of the show to sort of let myself process, let myself sit back and stuff, but, because I kind of rushed to that, I was just trying to get it out there kind of thing, so I definitely am not proud of the COVID episode, there was other episodes, I, I just, yeah, man. And if we're going, if we're gonna, if we're gonna line up the, t- if we're gonna line up the topic here, right? There's guest episodes, right? Where I, there was, I was very unconfident during those, and you had Tom Duncan's, where, where actually, um, he was the guy that felt that actually recorded it for me. So I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't know how to record things properly, and it was awkward because I tried to turn it into an interview. And if you've seen the podcast now, it's like, yeah, an interview does not work at all. Why would you sit there asking 900 questions when you could have a fun conversation with somebody every month or so? And so that is why it turned into a monthly guest sort of thing. Because I am not a, I'm not a news channel, right? I said that before. I'm not CNN or Fox News or anything. So I'm not going to go there and be like, so what made this think of you? What was the impact, the initial dry? what was the initial drive of this channel, right? That's what I was like. No, it doesn't work for someone like me because I'm just sitting here talking to a camera and I'll be talking to somebody every month or so. So there's definitely that, but we had, so we actually had an all right amount of people on the show this year. We had, I believe, Tom Duncan, we had Phoenix, we had my friends from Scotland. Actually, I'm just going to recheck what, uh, the guests we had on the show. So we had those, right? I'm just going to check right now because, you know, because there are there's quite a few of them. I did a whole playlist, so it's easy to find it. So, so I'm just going to quickly find this right now. Okay. Right, okay. I'm not going to waste your time too much here. Playlists. Oh my god, oh my god. Sorry, sorry, I'm just trying to get to it. So, here we go, right. So, who we had on the show was Tom Duncan's Phoenix, the friends from Scotland, Lee, um, Tom Duncan's again, Gravy Butler, my friend Navnish, F- Ethan, Tudor, and Phoenix again. So, there was only two guests that actually were on twice. The other ones are just one shots, one, well, only on, on once. And yeah, the, the the those there was those conversations that were very awkward and they weren't as they didn't go well because the it felt really awkward. Like the one of the a few of the episodes, I just kept laughing for some reason. I don't know why I did that. I kept laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing without realizing I should probably stop laughing because it's not funny, right? Those things that Ben and Lee said that were funny, sure, but. Saying that laughing for the whole entire thing didn't really make any sense. It didn't make any sense at all. So I kind of just stopped to that and I think, you know, I mean, the last Phoenix Guest episode was was a bit clunky at the start, but once we got going, you know, but I've just not, once we got going, we started getting better at it kind of thing. And so, and so that's the main point with the podcast is that, that, but once I started doing more and more and more and more of these, I started to realise, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about this week. And, 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 and yeah, and I have to also just add to the guest episode thing that, that it's quite repetitive because I'll just ra- just do an entire, like, conversation that's just filled with tangents and segues. So that's kind of the thing there. But there are a couple, there's a few guest episodes, like the to- the, th- the second Tom Duncan's, uh, edition where we talked about sitcoms 
there was that. Then I talked about music and working out with Ethan and and South Korea with Navni. So I'm just looking down at the playlist again just to get in a reference, a bit of reference. So there's so that stuff there. You had all that stuff going on, right? Definitely. So so I mentioned about how the podcast episode links. Now this is a point I want to address because at the start of the podcast I made a 4 minute video, then a 6 minute one, then I made one for 30 minutes, and then it went from 15, 15, 15, 14, 12, 10, or whatever. Right, I just kept going up and down and up and down, like the length of the podcast episodes just it kept fluctuating. I just kept going up and down and up and down, but now I've just settled, I've settled to a, I've settled to 20 to 30 minutes each week. Because that is a good, solid three thing, right? Because you have podcasts, you have podcasts that have an hour to spend talking or two hours. But this is only one guy in his room, so I don't know if I could go on for an hour. I don't think I could go on for an hour, right? You need... And that's a thing, right? That's a thing. You would think to yourself, James, why didn't you get a co-host, right? I did mention on the grave when Gravy Butler came on the show, he said, you know... Oh, we mentioned about how I was going to start a podcast with Gravy Butler and Tom Duncans, but it never worked out and stuff like that. It just, and because I realised, right, what I realised that this formula of, this formula of having a guest on every four weeks or something like that, every four weeks works better than, than having, get like, three people at once because especially since I am not the best with technology as, as it has been proven on the show many, many a times so there's definitely all of that and um so putting the pot so I did also mention putting the show on a other platforms which is a thing I did I I, I got this app called Anchor because, I'm going to mention it again, Gravy Butler told me about this app called Anchor where you can put your podcasts on Spotify, like distribute them on Spotify. So I do this and I put them all on Spotify now. I even put my review show episodes on Spotify as well because that is, because I like to put both of them on there so you can listen to both of them. I don't put highlights on there, they're just small clips and... I don't put the, I put the extended show on there, but, you know, that extended show is over. So you have all this stuff, right? I've put all this stuff on Spotify. I tried it on SoundCloud. didn't really work. And the thing is, right, nobody really listens to it on Spotify. There are a few people who do, but, uh, but the people that don't outweigh the people who actually do. So, so there's all that. Do I, like, the thing is, right, do I have a favourite episode? I don't really know about that one yet because I've talked about everything. We, I've talked. I've, I've still got a few more things I want to talk about on the podcast, but I want to just mention: Do I do I repeat myself? There are times when I've repeated myself on the show before, but definitely not always. Like I know I had my like I know, I like. I had my whole spiel about movies. I like my films, which is probably why the review show exists in the first place, because I have a chance to talk about review, uh, movies and stuff. So I've been talking about movies, right? I would, and that's what I would do. I would just think of things to talk about. So you know, I talk about movies, and I, you know, I recently mentioned the Guardians of the Galaxy three trailer on the new episode, and I talked about you know the black phone. The Shining again, and then there was also like the Martin Scorsese and Tarantino stuff. There, were, I did a whole movie episode, but I'm gonna be real, real with you, right? That was supposed to be the movie episode, but I talked about specific genres like film, like not film, superheroes and comedy and stuff like that. It wasn't just everything I know about movies. Then, as the th- episodes went on, I mentioned how in my childhood I really liked Pinocchio. I really liked Pinocchio, then also there was Shrek and stuff like that, so there's not really one um, one movie episode, it's kind of just all around, I mean I talked about Black Adam as well, I talked about Black Adam, I talked about, I've talked about movies a lot, but it doesn't mean I've talked about movies the whole entire time, no, 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 because ladies and gentlemen, right, this is one thing I want to talk to you about, right? It's like, I have talked about very, very, 
random things on this show. Like over the course of this year, I talked about phone brands, right? That was the one of the weirdest episodes, but it was to do with the technology saga that I did. Like, I talked about phone brands, like my thoughts on iPhone and Samsung. I went off on a whole entire rant about sat- about iPhones and how they're expensive. I said they're a, they're a thousand dollars, but there are iPhones that go for four, three thousand, four thousand. There are some that, there are some that go for more than that. But yeah, I was just saying, right, I've got that, and then I talked about the confessions, about how I loved eating poo. There was all this weird, weird stuff that I kind of talked about. There was the Biggest Fears episode, which is one that sticks out to mind, and you just notice that, you know, for the 10th episode, it was the Phoenix episode, and then Biggest Fears was the episode 20, and then episode 30 was... Episode 30 was the wrestling episode. I touched on that, right? That was an episode that I actually... That I, that I was meaning to make for a while because I mentioned it on the show. I mentioned like wh- I mentioned all these things and yeah, but but there was also seasons. We talked about seasons, right? That was the one of the randomest episodes, right? And I mentioned episode 10, 20, 30. I can't remember what I did for episode forty. Let me just let me just look at that right now. I might as well. I'm not trying to use my phone the whole time, but I just I can't remember everything I talk about. Okay, so for episode forty, I talked about. The primary school, it was called Remembering the Good Old Day Primary Days. So I talked about primary school, right? I did a whole phase of primary school and high school. Then I did this episode where I did the fa- fandom fatality, which I didn't really know. I don't know what I was doing with that. I just got really bored. And then we, we got to talk about Black Adam, obviously. Then the last James Ramblin episode, the last James Ramblin show for a while. So that's the thing I want to talk about, right? I actually haven't been the most consistent with this show. There was one time when I just didn't put an episode out for a couple of weeks because I didn't really know what to do with that episode. Then there was a time when I took an entire month off of the podcast so I could focus on my exams and lo- go see Louis C.K. and go to the South Island. And that the I loved the Louis C.K. stuff. I loved, I loved the. I love Louis C.K. and I love the South Island exams, they're okay, you know, you were just going into a room writing stuff, and that kind of thing there, and um, so the, I want to go back to, the, I do want to go back to the technology saga, so this was the phone brands, you know, you had that, and then I had the oddness of my internet interactions, that was an interesting episode definitely, and then you had the ba- the favourite YouTubers, so you basically learnt about what my favourite YouTubers were, then you had two door on the show, which was a bit of a side topic from the other stuff, or a side topic, as you say. Then I got the podcast hosts. The podcast host talks about his favourite podcasts, and I'm going to say that I have taken things from different shows, like different podcasts, because if you know right, I mentioned Trash Taste, which I still watch to this day, but I I go on so many tangents, and so do so do they. But that is because I have mentioned that I get my... So some of these things are from Discord, which I use, and I go off on a bunch of tangents on Discord. I do a lot of tangenting on Discord. So that's kind of why I kind of have done this thing of that. So, oh yeah, I talked about anime TV shows, right? There was that, right? Anime, I talked about that. I even talked about the Scottish government. Which is a was a interesting episode. Right, I filmed that like I want to say before I went to see the Nicholas Cage movie with my dad, and he walks in. But now that I've got the on air with the James Allen show, it just notifies them that they're not going to walk in as I do this stuff anymore. Because that was what I think. If you remember back in the day of the show, right? I had this moment in the pot one of the podcast episodes where I just was talking right. And my mum walks in and is like, I'm filming a podcast, mum. And that kind of thing happens. Oh, wait, I just forgot this as well, right? I talked about f- drinks. And I don't even remember that episode, to be honest. But I talked about drinks and stuff. And I did say I mentioned, I talked about, I talked about my hot takes and food. But don't worry, I am going to think about trying to do an episode where I actually talk about food properly. So there's definitely that. Oh, wait. I want to talk about the the experiences I've had in other countries, which was an episode I talked about. I talked about Spain, going to Spain, you know, getting lost in Spain, which was a crazy, crazy thing. Who would have thought, you know, 
this kid, right, he's so oblivious, doesn't realise what's going on, walks into the women's bathroom, right, walks into the women's bathroom, and then he gets locked in there, and, and yeah, it goes on for a bit, and stuff like that. So there's that, right. Sports. I talked about sports now, you know, I talked about American football, I was like, you know, American football, you know, but I didn't really explain myself well. The thing is, right, I have nothing against American football. All it was was that I can't understand why they call it American football when they're not really using their feet because there's rugby, right, you use, like, rugby balls, right, you kick a rugby ball and you run around with it and all that, right, you have all that stuff, but I mean, the I mean the thing is with rugby, right, is that you know you run, you're you're not always kicking a ball around, so it's not. But American football, but I I can't remember what the actual name they call it in America. There's another way of saying it. Gr- oh, I can't remember. Don't remember, right? And and yeah, oh, there was celebrities. There was celebrities and influencers as well. I talked about Andrew Tate. Like I meant, I have regurgitated this thing. All right. I'm never getting serious on the show, I'm never getting serious on the show, and that was the thing I did, right, that was the thing I did, I said for a very long time, I'm never getting serious on the show, and then the COVID episode hit, and then the government thing hit, and I did an, a bit on, and I did this bit, this little bit on Andrew Tate, where I did roast Andrew Tate as a joke, then I got serious for a moment, but I'm gonna mention that I'm actually, like, I'm not as frustrated with Andrew Tate as I used to be, right, the guy obviously is a bit crazy and he says these weird things and all of that stuff, but there was stuff he said about, like, you know, about Qatar, which I understood because he said, no, it's just a game of football. All of this stuff to do with homophobia doesn't really matter, right? It's just a game of football and stuff like that. But then you realise, you know, he's kind of doing this for attention because because now that he's peed every, pissed everyone off, right, he can go back to trying to be, he's trying to redeem himself, so he just acts like he's this nice guy with his best and red pill AF takes, right, stuff like that. So, there's all that, definitely. Yeah, and so, uh, let's see. I still have a few more things I want to mention. Let me see, right. Okay, I do want to mention that I do have, I do, I have, like, Wait a minute, let me see. So, so there was the whole thing about my movie stuff, right? I do still, some of my takes, I think I should mention, do I still believe the things I say, really? Not really. I mean, okay, I do still think that this the, the two Sp- Amazing Spider-Man movies are very underrated, like, they get too much hate. I do still, I don't, uh, I change my mind on the Shining thing, Oh no, that movie is bad, right? That movie is not as good as I remember, right? So I've had these takes, and then I did the hot, yeah. So I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I still maintain everything I think, because you know, over time, over time I change my mind on things. So there's definitely that kind of thing. They're going for it, and uh, I'm trying to see like if there's anything else we can talk about. We can talk about here because this it is actually kind of insane how how I've made it to over I made it to fifty episodes on the podcast. Like there are people that skim over this stuff and don't really look back. They just keep doing it and doing it and doing it because Joe Rogan, right? If we're gonna bring it back to Joe Rogan, right? Um, he doesn't really care about numbers of episodes like I do, right? I mean, I used to say, this is episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I used to say all of that, then I just stopped. I never do it with the review show. I just let that let that flow. I don't really care about that. But I do this for the James Ramblin show because it is, um, like, I'm talking about so much things that, you know, I could actually be mentioning how it went and stuff. So, so there's that. But, the, but Trash Taste does this thing where they do the Trash Taste Awards, right? They give awards to each other and all that for the year, like the entire year they've been doing it, or the entire two years now they've been doing it, doing it over, I think they've been doing it for a year and it's December, so and it's May they did the show, so probably a year and a half, like a year and a half or something, so there's all of that stuff, right, so, so yeah, there's all of that, I don't know, like, this has been an, an interesting episode because I'm looking at everything, Try to remember everything. 
So yeah, I th I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is gonna be a bit of a longer one, but understand that I'm un I try to unpack things from the past, the James Ramlin show, and I didn't want to try and talk about every single episode. I just wanted to sort of mention the episodes progressively, just so you know, you know. So, so yeah, this is our fiftieth episode now. So we're on it. And next week's episode fifty one. And who knows, right, we might have a guest on next week. Who knows, right, who actually knows. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you get you, you know, I hope you like the new mic set up as well. Like, this is helping me now because I don't need to just, you know, I moved around with that mic and the mic upgrades and the, you know, did the extended show, all, all that stuff. So, so yeah, and I, yeah, I hope you, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get out of here, right. I've said enough about my, I've said enough, I've stroked my eagle enough. I've broke my ego enough now, so... So, yeah. We'll see you next week for another episode of the James Ramblin' Show. It has been fun doing this for almost a year.